Hi, this is John O'Brien from California Credence at CaliforniaCredence.com. So I'm not in my university garb today, but I did want to address something that uh, was left out. Some folks were like, well, I noticed you had a backup iPad on that last video. Uh, how exactly do you back up multi-tracker to another iPad? Well, with the advent of the USB-C port on the iPads, this has become an incredibly easy process, especially with multi-tracker. All you have to do is save a database. It saves it in a file. You dump all of that onto a stick and plug it into another iPad, dump it onto that iPad, and you've got your backup. Plus you have a, a backup on a stick that you can put on any other iPad that has the uh, USB-C port. Okay, so let's start out by uh, getting some hardware before you get to do this. Um, we're gonna look up a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And <clears throat> the kind of adapter that you're gonna wanna buy is probably like this. Uh, this one's a good one. I believe I, I did this one here. Um, this was the, yeah, that's the one that I use. The reason that I get the cord uh, on it here, the reason that I get the cord is uh, because sometimes if you have your iPad in a case, uh, you know, then this will be able to uh, connect even though there's a case on your iPad. So that's one thing that you're gonna need. So the next thing you're gonna need is like a 128 gig um, mini uh, flash drive. Uh, this one right here is the one that I use, the, the UltraFit. Uh, that's a very common one that I use. Um, so basically you have that connected to the other thing. Oh, you can see I, I purchased it one time already. Um, so this is what I use uh, to connect to that adapter that I showed you. And then uh, this will get us in a position where we can go ahead and store the data. All right, let's get started. Okay, so now we're looking at um, how we're gonna get uh, the multi-tracker backed up. So first of all, I want to launch multi-tracker. And because this is our performance iPad, what I wanna do is I want to go ahead to the general tab that's down here. Um, and then I wanna hit uh, settings. And then I wanna go over here to database operations. And then on this, what I wanna do is I wanna save the database and I wanna call it, we'll say that this is February, uh, I usually like to put an underscore under it, by the way. Uh, February uh, 2024 uh, backup. And so that's what we're going to call it. And that's going to confirm that the backup has been successfully saved. So all that you have to do with that, now that you've created a backup of your overall database, then uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of this. And uh, I'm going to go to my files here. I'm going to go over here to... Um, multi-tracker and uh, what I do is uh, you can take the whole folder if you like but I don't usually like doing that looks like I've done a few and I'm going to select all of these and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy these excuse me here it'll say copy 89 items and I'm going to say yes so then I'm going to go back to my iPad here and go back to my files there's our raw video, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and create a little folder on there, a new folder, and we are just gonna call this um, MT back up from February 2024, because we have that backup file loaded in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press and hold on here, and we're gonna go ahead and post, uh, paste those uh, 84 items or 89 items excuse me so this is going to take a minute and um, I will be back once these things have copied over uh, you will see up here this is kind of a running of what's going on uh, and then eventually it's going to create a pie graph so as long as that's spinning um, and uh, this is how you know that the process is still rolling uh, because you're saving to a um, memory stick it may take a little bit longer for that process to happen anyway we have it over here on raw video so that is our mt backup 
and it's in our files. So now we have it on our raw video. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that thumb drive from our performance iPad. So we're gonna take that out and now we're gonna go over to the backup iPad and then we're going to go ahead and transfer that over. And so before we go over to the iPad 11, let's open up Multitracker and have a look at um, what it is. So a good test would be, let's say I'm gonna load these. I have a bunch of like four hour show. You can see how all that is. So that's how that would be on the playlist view. If you go over to song configuration view here, you'll notice that there are a bunch of files and it starts out with uh, any man of mine and already gone, goes all the way down to the fixes and uh, you're still the one and so on and so forth. So that's just to let us know uh, that we have about 88, 89 songs loading in here. And uh, we did a backup and let's go back to the iPad 11 and uh, let's see how that goes. So here we are on the iPad <clears throat> 11 Pro. And uh, there is, like I said, the fresh install of Multitracker that's on here. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up, all right? And uh, we'll see that Multitracker doesn't have any songs in here. We don't have any playlists. Furthermore, we also have uh, audios in trial mode, and this is all in trial mode. So this is a fresh install. Let me go ahead and um, uh, get this up to speed. Let's see if we're still in trial mode. Nope. Okay, we're good to go. So, the next order of business, let's close this out. And remember I had that memory stick. I'm going to plug it into this machine now. And you're gonna see that it's going to come up on our file browser here. And there it is. Uh, let me pull that out now. Remember it was called raw video. It's disappeared, now we're plugging it in. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there is our multi-tracker. What I would do is I would just open this uh, and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and select all, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and copy these guys. And uh, we'll go copy 89 items. And then we're just gonna find the local on my iPad. We are going to find Multitracker 2. Now you'll notice that Multitracker 2 folder is here. If you happen to do a fresh install of Multitracker and you don't see Multitracker in there, just simply open Multitracker and download and install the demo songs and this folder will show up. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste these things here and I will replace the demo songs um, and then we're going to see how long this takes. Okay, so this is where you see it finalizing here, that pie graph here. Once that thing disappears, that means that all the files have been transferred. So here we are, we're in Multitracker and all the files have been put in. Remember when we started Multitracker before, all you saw was the demo. So now that we've had the transfer the files, we're gonna go ahead and launch Multitracker here. And uh, let's go ahead and launch it and make sure we're in song configuration. And you'll see that all these files will be here. Uh, you'll notice in playlist view, you don't really have a lot of songs over there because they haven't actually been, the database hasn't been loaded. And you'll also notice that there aren't, there isn't anything on the playlist. So even though the data is on your iPad, you still have to go ahead and take the database that you saved on the 12.9 uh, and we're gonna go ahead and load it. And remember, the name of that was February 2024 Backup. Now this is what I like to do. I like to do the overwrite. I don't like to merge or rename. So uh, merge with existing entries. No, I like delete old database entries before importing. For me, I like to do that because it keeps everything consistent. Uh, you don't have a bunch of random uh, song and playlists that are consistently going increasing, ever increasing. It keeps things running pretty clean. So I just go do it. And uh, what it's doing is it's associating the files. So we're gonna see what the result is after we're done here. And database successfully imported. So what it looks like is all of the songs have transferred over. There are no missing files, exclamation point. So that means that we come over here and we're in our playlist view. We have a bunch of songs over here. 
Remember how we had all those? We had started out with the four hour show, ended with the extras. We'll do Mike's last stand. So what happens is, is you have then all of the songs, but not only that, you have all of the songs and it retained the mixes and it's retained all the mannerisms that you put in from the songs, the levels and everything are exactly the same. All of the mixes, all of the playlists, uh, everything. We now have a functioning backup iPad 11.0. So it's really just that easy. All right, that's it.